Coming from a new Doctor Who X Fortnite collab to Midas' long-awaited return, here's a load of new Easter eggs and free rewards you need to know about inside of Fortnite Season 2, starting with our very first leak about Season 3. In the most recent update, Fortnite added some specific palm trees and cacti for Chapter 4 with textures as well, along with the survey skin code names that indicate fire, tropical, and a desert theme. It's looking like next season's theme will be a tropical slash desert theme, just like in Chapter 1 Season 8, which basically confirms this chapter is going backwards from chapter one so in chapter one season nine was futuristic and this season now season two is futuristic and in chapter one season eight was tropical theme and now it's looking like season three is going to be tropical theme as well which is going to be pretty cool bro i'm actually really excited to see a new tropical theme or even a desert theme on the island very very soon but let's not forget the main poi in season eight being the volcano that is actually already on the island right now next to mega city you guys can see this mountain which is in the the exact shape as a volcano and with the new cracks appearing around the map well this actually happened inside of season 7 chapter 1 leading up to the volcano and it's going to be pretty cool to see a volcano again inside of season 3 so make sure you guys are paying close attention to these cracks because I imagine they'll be spreading along the map for the eruption of the volcano near the end of the season which is actually going to be really really cool but talking about Mega City in the trailer you may have seen the new smart pistol and well it's now finally in game you guys can see here the official lock on pistol trailer has released and this thing is overpowered bro you guys can see here it's definitely going to be getting nerfed very very soon there's no way it doesn't bro it absolutely annihilates enemies as well as the mythic odm gear this will most likely be getting nerfed as well soon not as hard as the lock on pistol though but the slow motion effect you guys can do before attacking an enemy with it it's pretty op i can't lie this thing's extremely broken so i imagine this thing will be getting nerfed very soon as well but remember the aot skins will be only in the item shop for a few more days so make sure you guys do pick them up while you still can but talking about the item shop if you guys are wanting one of the new skins remember i do gift five subscribers every single day to people who do drop a like on the video subscribe with all notifications turned on and leave a comment with your epic id name down below so i can add you guys and a huge thank you to everyone popping in my support credit code apple one as it does mean an absolute ton we have even more quests coming out for Eren Jaeger this season as well. The rewards that we did get a few weeks ago are only for page one. And we still have to see page two come into the game, which will actually be coming out with an Eren Jaeger style, which is most likely going to be in Titan style, which I can't wait for, bro. It's going to be so, so cool. As well as him coming out with another emote and probably some other pickaxes and stuff. It's going to be pretty amazing. We still need to see a glider for Eren Jaeger as well. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for page two getting leaked extremely soon as well as more quests for something called Boot Camp, which might actually be one of those seasonal updates where you guys can get a load of free awards, just like when Dragon Ball Z had one. It was pretty cool to see that. We might be seeing something similar for Attack on Titan, but we do have a confirmed collab for this chapter being Fortnite X Doctor Who, which will have an event pass and a ton of game changes. Starting with the cosmetics that are coming into the item shop, we're going to be getting two skins, two pickaxes, a glider, which will actually be this called the Meep Star Cruiser, and all also an emote which is going to be pretty amazing as well as one of them event passes like we just went on about in Dragon Ball Z where you guys can see here is a very early image of what it will actually look like coming with a ton of free cosmetics such as a loading screen, a wrap, another glider, an emoticon, a spray, a banner, an emote and a bat bling and some other cool rewards that we're not quite sure about. I imagine the bat bling is actually going to be a TARDIS which will be pretty cool. We're going to have to wait and see though. We're also going to be getting some map changes coming to the game as well as new weapons as well. One of them being called the Unit Advanced Assault Rifle, which you guys can actually see an early look at what this weapon looks like. It does actually come with a holographic sight though, which is going to be perfect for first person when it does release later this season. Because they've actually just updated weapon attachments as well, which is actually going to be implemented for first person for recoil control, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm extremely excited for first person to come out later this season, as well as this brand new Doctor Who collab coming out later this chapter. It's going to be pretty amazing. But we do have new news about Midas's return he's finally coming back this season as in the most recent update epic have actually began to work on a new digital midas skin and this is actually how they're going to be bringing him back just like they did with midas rex but this is actually what the skin's going to look like and it fits perfectly with the theme for this season with like all high-tech technology and futuristic theme this skin's gonna be pretty cool bro i'm extremely extremely excited for it to come out but it looks like midas will be coming back for this season for the ending alive event which is gonna be absolutely amazing we then have some new free exclusive rewards for playing in Creative 2.0 called the Creative Builder Awards, where you guys can unlock the Cuddle Cube Spray and 
finally the Lil Sweeties pickaxe by just voting for any theme for creative map on the website linked in the description. And when all maps are built, all you guys need to do is vote for your favorite one to unlock the pickaxe, which is extremely easy to do. This Lil Sweeties pickaxe has been in the files for so many years now, and you guys can finally unlock it for completely free. I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can actually go and sign up to this website to get these two free awards because they're actually really, really cool. It's looking like another Rocket League collab will be arriving very soon as Epic have added a new locker series named Rocket Pass and it's looking to be we're going to be getting even more item shop cosmetics for this collab which will be awesome. Let me know what you guys think we're going to be getting this time around because I don't know what can beat the Lil Octane emote but hopefully it's going to be pretty cool. We then have new information about the brand new Star Wars collab that's going to be coming on May the 4th. We do know we're going to be getting two new male skins and the code names are now in the files. The first one being called the Sierra's Vine coming with a skin, a bat bling, a pickaxe, a glider and a wrap and we then have for the second code name called Plot Twist which comes with a skin, a bat bling, a pickaxe, a glider, a wrap and an emote which is going to be pretty cool. We don't know what these two skins are going to be but they will be getting added next update as well as new mythic force abilities which are going to be so fun bro. You're going to be able to push players off the map or off really really high buildings. For number 11 though if you guys have been paying attention to the herald tree on the map it's actually changed in this update as well. We all know that the herald is trapped inside of this tree after blowing up reality zero in the fracture event but in the new update Fortnite have actually updated and added more rocks around the tree as well as mega stones lighter with the tree texture also getting changed as well. It's just a matter of time before we do see her back on the islands creating even more havoc and it looks like the chrome is going to be coming back as well which I'm not looking forward to. If you guys have been paying attention to the herald tree on the map it's actually changed in this update as well. We all know that the herald is trapped inside of this tree after blowing up reality zero in the fracture event but in the new update Fortnite have actually updated and added more rocks around the tree as well as mega stones lighter with the tree texture also getting changed as well. It's just a matter of time before we do see her back on the island creating even more havoc and it looks like the chrome is going to be coming back as well which I'm not looking forward to. But that's not all. In this update two new monolith POIs have actually been added to the map. To start with we thought this was just a cool new POI for the chapter until I realized you can't break them and when you can't break something in Fortnite it usually means it belongs to the storyline and with the new serenade loading screen this skin you guys can actually see she's with the two new monoliths which means these are extremely important for the storyline but you guys can also see on her skin she has some chrome which is directly related to the herald so it is confirmed basically that the herald will be coming back for these new monoliths which is going to be pretty cool you can also see the cube queen's power on her hands as well as well as the logo of the Treyarch Nox on her hand. So it's looking like this skin is going to be our new character for the storyline when the Herald has returned coming out of the tree. It's going to be pretty cool, bro. I am extremely, extremely excited to see the Herald back in the game and see what's going to be happening for this season's live event. We then have the brand new Coachella quest. So if you guys actually do go to our lobby screen, you guys can go to your quest and you guys can see the Coachella quests. We actually need to play creative. You need to collect coins around the Coachella Islands, collect hidden music notes in the Mirage Time Warp at Coachella Islands, hop on jump pads, saw it in the sky stream on Coachella Islands. Once you've done all them, you will actually receive all of these rewards. You guys can get the Coachella Sunset Spray, which is actually really, really nice. We then have the Catch Eye Emoticon, which is pretty cool. It's also animated. We then have a music track. I've got the music off. We then have the Hi-Fi Cacti Spray, which is also really, really cool. And also 60,000 XP. So make sure you guys are unlocking all of these rewards because they are by far extremely easy to do and do get you quite a lot of XP to unlock yourself those brand new in lighter styles but that's everything in today's video hope you guys enjoy let me know if you guys learned something new and if you guys are excited for Midas's return or the brand new doctor who clamp and i'll see you guys in the next video peace